We're deep in the Stade de France here. Uh, Kieran O'Reilly from the Sunday Mirror. You were just speaking to Thierry Henry. What did you say to him? Yeah, well, I tried to get a question in over all the French guys, and I just asked him. I said all the Irish players had come through here and said that he deliberately handled it, and he's been saying that the ball just hit him. Um, twice. Twice. <laughs> I don't know which one he meant, just hit him, but uh, the Irish players were sure. They, they've seen the replays now, and they said like he kept it in with one touch, pushed it ahead of him with another, and... Um, I asked him, I said straight out, did you, did you deliberately handle it? Do you want to apologise to the Irish players? And he said, I didn't do it deliberately. Uh, it was an accident. Um, he said, that he admitted then that they didn't deserve to win the game in any fashion. But, you know, he'll shrug it off. He'll, he'll go back now to Barcelona, have a great weekend and think about the World Cup. That was a great Irish performance, if we can take anything out of tonight. I mean, one of the best in many generations I mean it's, it's absolutely horrible to be talking about one of the best performances in the last 20 30 years I mean I don't remember sitting in Hamden watching us beat Scotland in 87 but this was probably above that considering the players we were up against the personalities involved you know the, the amount of money these guys go for um, it, w- it was stunning I mean it, we actually dominated in most parts the energy that the lads showed were, was just incredible um, some of them looked like they weren't fit uh, Glenn Whelan said he wasn't fit uh, to start the game 100% but what he put in there was, was incredible Keith Andrews was immensely fit Liam Lawrence the same I mean all over the park you can go through every player pretty much and for them to come out and have to lose in any way uh, is awful but to lose in the manner they did was particularly gut-wrenching Did you get to talk to any of the other French players? No I mean a couple of them came in and spoke to their own lads and they were high-fiving and you know chatting away and I don't think they were too interested um, as I said, it's the nature of football. It's the result that matters. As Trapattoni says to us every time, it's not the performance, it's not how good it looked, it's the result. And unfortunately, we're on the wrong end of that tonight. And we'll just have to go home. We, we, we'll speak for the next few weeks about how amazing the performance was. But once more, we lost. And that's the horrible thing about it all. Most of the, the squad are going to be still there next time. I mean, Kevin Kilban said he'll have to think about it, but he was kind of the one that maybe people weren't sure about. Yeah. But there's, there's a lot for this team to go forward in the squad, especially under Trapattoni. Yeah. He signed another contract. Yeah, I mean, some people may have questioned that, but and even on Saturday and Sunday morning, people would have been questioning that. But what we saw tonight was just, a, a, to me, anyhow, a complete vindication of the man in charge. Um, the belief he instilled into them must have been something else yesterday evening. Uh, we were we were just, you know, clutching our straws to see how would you get a result over here. Um, but once the game started. Um, you could see that they had that, the pressure they put on them, they pushed up the pitch more than they had before. Maybe it gives us a sign of what might come. There was a lot more intricate passing, a bit more attacking. Glenn Whelan was getting into the box, like Kilban overlapped Duffer for the goal, a nice one too. Um, so there's positives there. I mean, there's people there waiting at full back, not a whole lot of them, but there's people there. And if Trap can get out of somebody maybe like Kevin Foley, what he has from Sean St. Ledger, then it's, you know, it's a positive uh, step forward. We, if you went back to the start of this campaign, Nobody would have picked Glenn Whelan or Andrews or St. Ledger uh, and put them in a team um, and expected to do what we've done. But he's managed that. And, you know, if we get a couple of players back, if Stephen Reid comes back and gets to that level of fitness that Trap wants, um, that'll be a massive boost again. Um, but how can you question the lads who went out there tonight and, and gave that performance? Thanks very much, Kieran Ratty from the Sunday Mirror. I look forward to reading your views on Thierry Henry on Sunday. <laughs>